we have built a system for continuously capturing video from an array of 100 CMOS image sensors, each of which streams 640x480 resolution video at 30 frames per second. The array can be thought of as a nearly 1 giga sample per second photometer, with flexible control over the placement of samples in space and time. One use for this bandwidth and flexibility is simulating a single, high-performance camera. For example, if we tightly pack the cameras to approximate a single center of projection and splay their fields of view, we can create a very high-resolution video camera. Here we show a mosaic stitched together from images all taken with the same exposure setting. Because the exposure is constant across the array, we lose detail in very bright or dark regions. The cameras for these experiments were oriented such that their fields of view overlap their neighbors by 50%. This reduces the total field of view of the mosaic, but means that each pixel is observed by four cameras. As this video shows, Configuring the overlapping cameras with different exposure times allows us to create a high dynamic range, high resolution mosaic. In the tone map result, we see detail both here and there. However, note that the roof of the arcade appears gray and featureless, since the limited local dynamic range of the camera cannot capture its true brightness. If we instead use four fixed exposures tiled across the cameras, each pixel is imaged at four different exposure levels, and we are assured of capturing a wider local dynamic range. In the resulting image, greater detail is visible along the roof. The temporal precision of our array gives us flexibility over the timing of our cameras in addition to their position and orientation. If we overlap the fields of view of densely packed cameras and stagger their trigger times evenly across the 30 Hz frame time, we create a streaming high-speed camera. Here, we show a 1560 frame per second video assembled by interleaving images from an array of 52 cameras. The applications so far simulate a single center of projection, high-performance camera. Spreading the cameras further apart while maintaining a common viewing volume lets us capture video from a wide range of perspectives for interpolating new camera positions in both space and time. Typically, arrays for such applications are synchronized to triggers simultaneously, but motion between frames from a given camera can be quite large. The timing precision of our array lets us sample with greater uniformity in space and time. In this sequence, we show images from nine neighboring cameras in a 12 by 8 array, in chronological order. Motion between captured frames is reduced. Better sampling enables simpler or more robust interpolation methods. We demonstrate this using a novel optical flow variant that solves for the depth and motion at each pixel of a desired virtual view. This video shows results synthesizing new views at 270 frames per second from a stationary viewpoint. In contrast to the previous high-speed result, this correctly aligns objects at different depths. Next, we show results interpolating views from a virtual camera moving with changing velocities through space and time. This data was captured on a 30 by 3 array of cameras over 2 meters long. A third application regime for the array uses many moderately spaced cameras to simulate a single large aperture camera with a very shallow depth of field. This has been shown to be useful for seeing through partially occluding objects. We have implemented live synthetic aperture video with interactive user control over the focal distance. Implementing spatial image warps in hardware at each camera enables us to render in real time for an array of 30 cameras. So far, we've adhered to the traditional model of a camera aperture as a cylinder or prism in space and time. But our array lets us consider much more exotic aperture shapes. For example, rather than integrating contributions across the entire field of view of all cameras for synthetic aperture photography, we can create per-camera mats that mask out rays through the synthetic aperture that intersect the occluder. While standard synthetic aperture photography blurs the occluder across the image, the matted sap approach removes contributions from the occluder, increasing contrast and color fidelity 